Another one. I'm out of moves. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Death drop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that on the East Coast coming September 28th, 29th, and 30th, we will have New York Drag Con! Yes! Come on, all my East Coast love and motherfucking show to New York Drag Con. Hello, my name is Yuha Masaki from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10, and today I'm gonna show you how to do the killer eye. Hi! There are eight simple steps, okay? The first step you're gonna do is gonna put some whites in a corner. God does not wanna participate with me today. You're gonna put some whites in there. Today we're using basic clown whites. You can get this at any Ricky's, at any makeup store, theatrical makeup. Put it in, baby. You want it to pop, okay? Because we're painting for the stage. Just get it in there. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point because you're gonna all blend it out together. You're gonna grab a brush, one of your dirty brushes, and you're gonna set it in, girl. You're gonna pat it in, girl. Mm. Pretend you're getting a beat on your forehead, baby. Yeah. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Step two. You're gonna create a little shape, okay? You're gonna grab a brush. You're gonna create a little wing eye, all right? Because you wanna look. Yes, baby. Yes. Yes. Look at that. 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 I'm using Mac. I got it for free from my friend that works at Mac. So just any black actually will work. Because you're gonna go in with a darker black later because this is just gonna create the shape for you. Look at that, look at that, look at that. There you go. That's it. Step three, you wanna grab some brown and put it on your eyes because it is natural and neutral. It can go along with any outfit that you wanna wear. So let's say you wanna be a today uh. or if you wanna be a secretary tomorrow, this eye color will work anywhere, anytime, any day. Move in a circular motion. I use powder and this powder is from um, Ben 9, you pay like seven bucks and you get like a huge freaking jar of it. And it'll last you forever. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point because you're able to blend everything out later on. We are on step four. That's called blending it out. And this is the part you're gonna get everything that's messy completely out of your face. You're gonna take some white, same white that we used before. You're gonna put some over here, put some over here. In a corner and blend, baby. Blend, brush all that imperfection out. I ran into RuPaul today on the street, believe it or not. Like, literally. She was just walking on the street. And me and my friend, we ran up like four blocks just to say hi to her. I was still, you know, starstruck. Literally, I was like this. <laughs> and then I was like, Ru! <sighs> she said, hi. I said, one second. <laughs> it's me, Yuha, do you remember me? She's like, yeah, you She looked so calm. Meanwhile, I was like, ah! All right, next step. Step five, baby, cinco. So you're gonna take some light brown, okay? You're gonna go over what you just did for the darker brown, blend it all out so that it'll look more natural so that there's more of a color scheme. I do this scheme because it makes it seem like there's more dimension so that it doesn't seem like it's more of a block on your face rather than there's just more you know, dimensions, dimensions, I guess you can say. All right, here's the next step. And what, what step are we up to now? I forgot, we've done so many steps. Step six. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> step six. Step six, it is creating the crease. We're gonna take the Ben 9 black. I'm almost out of it because I, um, so, I use so much of it. You're gonna take this brush. You're gonna take a flat brush. I don't know what number these brushes are because these brushes are just cheap brushes from Dwayne Reed. So you're gonna create a crease. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point because it, you're gonna blend it all out, baby. Take the other side of the brush, blend it out, okay? All right, next step is number seven. We're gonna thicken the eyes. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point because nothing ever has to be perfect. And then you're just gonna blend it out later, girl. Now we're gonna take some Alme, Alme liquid eyeliner. I actually learned this from a um, Manila Luzon, actually, what to use for eyeliner. Yeah, it's gonna make it extra dark, baby. All right, rhinestones time. You see, the thing is, I like to wear big lashes that are so big. When the lashes are on, it is so hard to put the stones on. So I like to put them on before I put the lashes on. It just makes it more simple and easier for me. All right, stones time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some spirit gum. It just goes on faster and easier and it stays on longer, too. 
here's the thing. You don't use weave bond because weave bond glue is black already. So when you put the stones on the glue and you lay it flat on your face, the black from under the stones will be pressed out. So you're gonna use something that's more clear and neutral. Does this look familiar to you, Pete? What does it look like to you? Uh, this morning. <laughs> so you're gonna put it on anywhere, basically. Lay it out. You're gonna take a tweezer, and for every stone that you take, put some glue on it, like that, and put it on, baby, and press it down. There you go, you got your first stone in. Now you do this about 20 more times, all right? And then we're done! Oh, la oh lashes, lashes, lashes. Fake alarm, fake alarm, fake alarm, fake alarm. And this is the last step, okay? We're gonna put on some lashes. And the lashes that I used to, uh, where, where did it go? Oh, there it is. And the lashes that I love to put on are huge lashes because it just makes my eyes so much bolder. Weave bond glue, the one you were talking about earlier, we're gonna put it on the little thing again. I know some girls used to, um, what, they like it. Come on. Sorry, I just farted. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Work, cut that out. <laughs> so we're gonna take the eyelash and the weave bond glue. Like this, just dip it in, baby. What I usually do is I take the eyelash and then I put it above my, eye, my natural eyelash. You see, you see where I'm putting it? I don't really put it on my eyelash. It's made by a drag queen. Her name is Sabrina Lawrence. She lives, um, yeah, it's right here. She lives in uh, Virginia and I order from her. And she makes these amazing huge lashes and I think everybody should go get them because they're just freaking amazing and large. And we're almost there, baby. Bottom lashes. Again, I like to put it under my natural eyelashes. So like over here. And then we're done. The killer eye. And don't you worry, baby. I'm gonna put on eyebrows in just a second. 